Happy Black History Month. Black, 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 black on black, black, yeah, hey, okay. Black History Month is the appreciation and acknowledgement of black inventors, black creations, and black people. Black History Month is a month in which we celebrate the achievements that African Americans have accomplished. I believe Black History Month is a month that uh, brings up history that we don't go over in schools, and I think it just brings awareness to what's going on around us. Black History Month matters to me because in history we've been an underrepresented group and when we look at our textbooks we don't really see a lot of black people other than the same people such as MLK, Rosa Parks, and Frederick Douglass. I think Black History Month matters because it shows awareness for certain causes that we need to focus on and it takes us back to our original roots and gives us something to celebrate as being black. It's important because it sheds light on the things that we had to go through and it helps us remember all that we had to overcome. Discrimination. I believe discrimination is very unfortunate. It still happens today, but I believe we'll get through it. Good boy. I think discrimination is a very bad and ugly thing and I think the less discrimination, the better off the world will be. Discrimination. interested in being a student store employee next year? The store is a great environment where you're able to have fun and sell products to your peers. This class is a tool or block, giving you plenty of experience on what's to come in the real world. In order to apply for this course, you'll need to have already taken Marketing 1. You can pick up and turn in your application in Room 401. For additional information, contact Mr. Green at agreen at gbcs.org. basketball team has a game today, Tuesday, and Thursday, and the boys play today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. <laughs> what you doing here, Steven? I'm just shredding the slopes in preparation for this week's skiing match on Thursday. Oh, I'm definitely going. Oh, what? Oh, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> definitely going to know a ski match. <laughs> Oh, another strike from Fletcher. Love to see it. Hey, if you want to see him knock down some pins, SVL Championship this Saturday. What's going on, folks? It's Peter here. We got a nice little action tonight on the ice. Game. Saturday. Wednesday. What a goal! 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 I don't care if I got hit. That was a fucking nice goal, buddy. As you can see, I'm underwater. We got the swim team up there practicing for Mishka this weekend. Good luck, boys. I've been uh, Grand Blank. This is my 24th year. Married, my wife Tanya. She works at Holy Family, speech therapist, preschool teacher. I got five kids, 18 to 7. So that keeps me busy after school. Uh, I've just been teaching social studies, but the only place I've ever taught. So I just love it here. I love playing sports, I wanted to coach, and so I knew if I went into teaching, I could teach history, and I liked that, a natural fit. Oh man, my all-time favorite? I don't know, but it really was an honor for that Grand Marshal thing a couple years ago. That really meant a lot. That was a really nice moment, I think, to be able to share it with my family and the community and the school. What did they tease you? Well, you know, if you do anything, your buddies would just make, they got me this big Grand Poobah hat, and they just <laughs> constantly mocked me and teased oh, me, because they're my friends, that's why. Yes. I just want students to have a really great experience coming into the classroom. 
I think that's like the foundation part of it is that they're recognized as a person. We want to have a nice community, have a nice environment, and then when that happens, we can get some learning in. It's just to maintain those relationships throughout, even past high school, it's, it really is cool. And I think it started in the classroom of, even if you don't love history, just having a good experience here, knowing that you're known. And I had a student of mine, Giro Serra, and he was really passionate about how he loves cereal, or just kind of, let's make a TikTok or something. And coming off of COVID, I really wanted to focus on people and relationships and really focusing on being together. And that allowed us to have some fun, bring in different people from the schools, build a little community. Now, in all honesty, people will probably, good or bad, probably remember that in class more than any other lesson. And it's just, I'm here all day and I want to enjoy you guys. And as much as I love history and teaching history, I'm more of like a human being opposed to a human doing. Like we can do all these things, but if you don't like take the time for that human interaction and connection and laughing, so what in a sense? So I think while school is super important and content's important, if I don't have human connection and relationships, nothing matters. And so I know a lot of students come to school, they may never end up loving history, but at least if they can walk out and have another relationship or know somebody was there, and I value those a lot, I, I hope that I can do that for students here. That's, I don't know, it's just, um, I enjoy school more, they enjoy school more, and it's a more fun place to be. Yeah, this could be fun. This could be real fun. Is it something else that we could do to waste time in class? Like, yeah. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs>
to know a little bit about it. First level auto students are going to learn how to do an inspection on a car, how to do a tire rotation, an oil change, brakes, drum brakes, how to work the brake lathe, uh, pack wheel bearings, and probably take off and replace tires. The second level students, it gets a lot more into electrical, and they start using scan tools, fuel pressure tests, uh, disassemble, rebuild an engine. Yeah, it just keeps going on and on. <laughs> There's not too many auto shop classes left. I have, I'm one of three in Genesee County. I think the instructor makes it unique too because I've, have had, I've had 25 years of experience in the field. Not very many teachers come right out of industry into the classroom. I, I do really enjoy the program and I think it does need more exposure. A lot of times what you'll find is people, they don't know where the auto shop is or they don't even know, like I've heard so many times that people didn't even know we had an auto program. No. <laughs> it's surprising how much it doesn't get, because a lot of times people will walk down, students will come down to get their friends and say, what's back here? And I'll open up the door and they'll go, what? There's a whole shop here? Like, yeah, there has been since 1976. <laughs> like, we have an auto program. So yeah, I think a lot of people don't know about it, but it's growing. Watching somebody learn, watching somebody learn. It's amazing. Like you, I could step back and go, wow, look at all the stuff that they're doing. I mean, right now you can hear the hoists going. They didn't even know what a hoist was when they started, and this is their second year now. So they can put cars up in the air by themselves. It starts to become autonomous in the upper levels. So just the fact watching them learn something, that's the part that makes it worthwhile. It's my favorite part. There's nothing wrong with getting your hands dirty. You know, I did it for 25 years. I got no regrets learning this stuff. You know, get in, get it done. Maybe it's not for everybody, but knowledge is power. If you know something about a car, then you... You, you take it to a, every interview, somebody's doing an impact guide, you know? <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, just a minute. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Take the course, knowledge is power. Yeah. Uh, Riley Johnson made a vibe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fit check. Fit check Friday. Fit check Friday. Don't you get it? It's Fit check Friday. Fit check Friday. Fit check Friday. Get it? It's Fit Check Friday. Just look at it. Before our snow days, the Grand Blank Theater program produced the play Clue. Here's a quick recap. All right, who does? <laughs> Body. It was me, Special Agent Larry Goodman, in the hall in a 
with my cat. Congrats on a wonderful show. Let's wish them luck on their next production, Mamma Mia. Welcome to Anything Goes. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about social media. Have you guys ever seen any of the influencers like on your For You page? Nope. A little huddy. So social fun. media is just crazy now. For it, sure. It's already like taking over like everything. Younger Gen Z. Like Tablet that. kids. Tablet kids. <laughs> Tablet um, kids are gross. No child. I'm sorry. <laughs> A they just give device. sticky. Like, they just look sticky and gross. Like, they eat food, and then they touch the iPad. And What's the newest iPhone? Whoa, this is actually cool. They're it, gonna make it so it folds. If I were to flip my phone, yeah, yeah, yeah. there would be a screen That's right stupid. here. That's I don't know. I think that would be real cool if somebody was called... Ow! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you gained. Have a some great good day. Life Don't do social media. Us. Just kidding. Change school. That's like saying. Bye. Don't be drunk. Bye. Bye. Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the morning